creators, it's Inspiring Vanessa here and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's video is my hotel walkthrough and review of the R2 Bajada Beach Hotel and Spa in Fredataventura which I stayed in in December of 2023. Make sure you're subscribed and let's get in to this walkthrough. There were three of us in total. I stayed here with my mum, my grandma, and of course myself. And we stayed here from the 23rd to the 30th of December, so exactly seven days. And we had never gone away for Christmas before, especially not in a warm country. So we really wanted to see what the hotel had in the store and what celebrations they had to offer. This hotel is located in Costa Calma, which I would personally say was quite an isolated location and it was quite relaxing in that sense. So if you want to go to somewhere that's a bit more busy, I wouldn't recommend this specific area. Because we did go here in December, the weather here wasn't extremely hot. So I will mention that the main swimming pool was honestly freezing cold and a lot of people had quite a hard time trying to get into it. But I will add that the pool right by the bridge was actually a little bit warm in temperature. So we ended up going there a bit more often. As the hotel is by the ocean, they have this really lovely pathway just outside of the hotel where you can see the beautiful clear waters and it was just a really nice walk to have when you wanted to get out of the hotel. And there are also beaches on either side, but I would say it's maybe a 10 to 20 minute walk to get to these. Hey Luke, how's it going man? I just wanted to check in with you and see how things are. 
as this is an all-inclusive you can get your drinks and of course some food at the snack bar which was right by the pool it's really nice to sit outside and just look over at the water while you're eating and this was pretty much our spot for lunch They really went above and beyond for Christmas dinner and it was so nice to see. The tables were reserved for a limited time beforehand so that everyone was ensured a very smooth and calm evening without worrying about spaces or where to sit. The indoor pool and spa is not a part of the all-inclusive but I would still highly recommend to check these out if you do go to this hotel, especially because the pools outside are freezing cold, so being in a warm indoor pool was totally worth it. They have loads of facilities to offer, I didn't film a clip of this but they do have shops around the hotel so you can do your shopping and get some souvenirs too. We didn't really watch much of the entertainment or see anything which was of interest in the evenings after we had dinner so I can't really give my full review on this part of the hotel but they do have itineraries and schedules so that guests can see what is coming up in the evenings. And that is the end of this hotel review. I'd love if you could check out my travel vlog to see what we got up to over our stay on this island. If this video helped you, make sure you hit that like button and that you're subscribed below. And don't miss out on my previous hotel reviews, which you can see in the i button in the corner. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.